Hi, I'm three brown tabby cats in a trench coat, and welcome to Bone Lab. Bone Lab is a VR game released September 29th, 2022, and one that was hyped up to change the entire VR landscape as a whole. Most people would claim this fell short, as it is very similar to its previous game Boneworks, and after release has seen almost no support at all. They have claimed it is in some cases a downgrade, moved past this game, saw it as another cheap gimmick on a dying console. And there is one fatal flaw that the general populace made in that claim, not acknowledging the best and most important feature known to all of gaming and entertainment. Cool trinkets. This game excels on all fronts. It puts forth cool looking stuff that makes me forget about my looming grocery bills. Now this game is limited in its reach of cool biz as lack of support, but the game itself was structured to allow anyone to integrate whatever cool biz they liked into the game. Mods. This game is centered around a physics-based engine, and whatever people can throw in are immediately grounded into this reality, which you can play with, and throw out the NPC forward. This game has been beaten to death when it comes to intelligent criticism and main game review, so I'm going to do a fully opinion-based, nonsensical rating of my favorite mods. You can request mods down below if you like, just make sure they're fitting a cool or trinket factor of 7 or more. This will be in no particular order, as I don't want it to be. Starting off, Frieza by Copenhagen. This mod is one of the many NPCs released by this creator. He uses dynamic animations, sounds, and even effects to bring his mods to life. This NPC in particular can be found in the large NPC pack 2 released on mod.io. Rather than reviewing the entire pack, I wanted to showcase my favorite. Frieza sports a balanced health and a diverse range of sayings and sound effects, in addition of Key Blast, that let you live out your dream of being Goku. This mod, in my opinion, is a must-have, and goes on as an 8 out of 10. Only critique is the general limitations of the software do not allow for free flight or dynamic fighting moves. But I don't mind the unfair advantage. Next up, Black Ops 4 Grapple Hook by Bugo Bug. The grapple hook is a staple of good games, from Just Cause to Doom, or most New Age first-person shooters. To have this added into Bone Lab felt right. While this dynamic and fun trinket is phenomenal, it comes with its bugs. The physics engine does have its own rules, and having things that combat that can be fun and tricky in its own way. Now, with the issues coming with the mod, it is still extremely fun to use in both combat, movement, and Spider-Man emulation. The only perceived downside is the inability to holster the grapple hooks to take them with you. But they make up for this. They add in an additional bigger grappling hook with your mod experience. Overall, this mod is a 9 out of 10 and one of the mods of all time. Alright, last one on the list is Explosions Pack by Son3x1. This pack is phenomenal. It comes with options and trinkets and objectively cool things all around. Tuna can? Nah. Bomb. Nokia phone? Nope. Bomb. Nuclear bomb is in fact, you guessed it, a melee weapon. And also a bomb. You can live out all of your dreams of throwing explosive devices at government buildings and do so at high speeds. I have no feedback in this mod, as in all facets it goes beyond what I can hope for or Try to do myself. 10 out of 10 mod. These mods are just a few examples of why Bone Lab, while growing in age, is also growing in fun. My sincere thank yous to all mod creators featured on this video, and trust me, I will review more of your amazing creations soon. Thank you for all watching, and I am still three brown tabby cats in a trench coat. Please help me, I am stuck.